Right, it's the fourth time I've tried to do this now. Bloody technical problems. Hello everybody, this is the Retro Bear in the Gaming Pantry, as you may have gathered. And uh, today we're going to be doing... Uh, I can't believe I've done Fourth time I've done this now. Bloody technical problems. Anyway, well, today we're going to be doing a response to Retro Red Steve, uh, who otherwise known is as Retro Red Steve. Uh, yes, we've got PlayStation 1 lap challenges to do. Done a few of these. Uh, they've done one recently on Rage Race, so quite a few people had to go at that one. I haven't got that game, so unfortunately I can't take part in that one. However, he has done two since. One, which is this one, which is running in the background on the old CRT, which is Toka touring car championship which was the game I bought at the same time I bought a dual shot controller which would cost me a bloody fortune back then but there we go uh, and the idea of this one is just to um, uh, you've got I think it's Donington Park which is the first track you get uh, there's a qualifying session of three laps and to go around and just record your best time there's no prizes there's no you know cash at the end of it it's just a case of just putting your best time in and seeing what everybody else has done I'll stick some links below to people who had a go already uh, Ross at Borehaw Hall's had a go James at Retro Import Gamers had a stab at it. I'm sure some other people had a go as well. Uh, I'll try and get as many of those if I can stick them in. And then the second game we're going to be playing is Colin McRae's Rally on the PlayStation 1 also. This is the uh, Best Sellers version. I have got the Black Label one for some reason. Uh, and what this is going to be, um, again, it's the first uh, uh, leg of the New Zealand Rally. Uh, no messing around with the setups. You can't change suspensions, tyres, anything like that. Um, we're not into all that cobblers here. Just good old put your foot down and have a go. Now, you can have a couple of practice laps. I've had a couple of practice laps at Toka. I'm terrible. Um, whether they're going to go any better on this, I don't know. We shall have to see. And I haven't tried that one yet, so that'll be a first up play, we'll have to see. Right, let's get the um, uh, thing in the right place, shall we? So there we go. Game's up and running. Yeah, let's try and get this into the right place. I don't think we've got any licensed music on this, thank goodness, which is going to be a, a, a real benefit, because... Uh, we get caught out with that. So, yeah, so it's in case of start race. Um, you can do a single race or championship, it's exactly the same setup. So you can see it's a three lap race. None of this makes any difference. Qualify, yes, that's what you want. Uh, weather on default. Um, I think they left it as a fairly sunny day, didn't they? So we'll leave it as a sunny day. i continue that. Now, I can't remember if they played easy or medium or hard, so I'm going to play medium. Uh, and we'll put our name in. Let's see if we can get this right this time. Which would be a significant improvement, wouldn't it? Anybody saw my effort? What's that one I played a few months back? Um, again, I think it's any choice on cars. Automatic. Uh, we'll, we'll pick the Honda Record and Donington GP. And there we go. We're straight in. We are. We are now in. Why am I turning around to talk to the camera when it's not? On, I don't know. Let's <laughs> try and focus on playing the game now. Um, yeah, so I'm playing this in... Uh, I haven't got the analogue turned on here. So I'm not going to turn the analogue on. So I think I just prefer it a little bit more with the um, the D-pad for some reason. Yes, I prefer the stiffness of the D-pad. Right, we've got a rolling start. We've also got a horn on the car, which I don't think anybody else has used yet. There you go. important thing is not to skid off there. Don't, don't forget you've got three laps, so if you have a, a bad lap, don't worry about it. You'll have another one that'll come around very, very shortly. Ah, there we go. So we'll need that second lap and the third lap, obviously. Yeah, you, you've got to be really, really careful on this game, because if you touch the grass in any way, shape or form, you're flying off. It really is... Um, not good. And there are some really vicious turns on this course, particularly towards the end. And of course, what you don't see, what it doesn't give you, that's a nasty one there, but I managed to slam the brakes on just in time. Took that one pretty well. Um, what you don't actually see, there's no like map of the course. So you've got no idea, you can't even sort of have a glance at where they're turning. There's a turning corner up here, which is horrible. Go 
across there and there into a chicane. I believe is a technical term for it. And there's another one right at the very end. It's very easy to go straight on if you don't get it right. And you slam the brakes on too much, you end up skidding the car out. And I think there's one more turning at the top. And then we're into straight then. Here we go. See what I mean here? Look at that. Oh, I've gone, gone wrong, gone straight on. No, that's it there. So it's a big sort of swinging left hand turn into that. But believe it or not, the very first go I had on this not long back, uh, about half an hour ago, was 2 minutes and 4 seconds. So actually that was a better lap than my first lap in 30 odd years on this game. There we go. Now I think the lads have recorded sometimes in the low 130s. Uh, hats off to you. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near, anywhere near that. We're already nearly seven seconds up on the last lap, which is good. If I can just get around about the 140... 145, I'll be happy with that. Like I said, it's... it's, it's no one's winning any prizes. It's the old don't phone, it's just for fun business. I said uh, Steve played Rage Racer originally to start this this little uh, community ex uh, what's the word uh, what experiment off had a go at. Try and take that properly. There we go. Didn't do too bad. Uh, yeah, Rage Racer, which I haven't got, and the uh, cheapest copy I could see anywhere was about fifteen quid. So uh, I'm afraid that one will have to remain unplayed. But quite a few people had a go at that one. Oh no, we gone straight. I oh, know we skidded out as well. Quite a few people had a go at that one. Stu Tutti UK had a go at that as well. Um, yeah, it's not on PlayStation Plus or anything like that either, sadly. So Oh, that would have... Uh, let's see, if I hadn't crashed, that would have not been a bad lap. What was that? 149? Right, I've got one lap to go. So I think this is going to be a flawless run, but it's going to be a lot better than the last one. Boising with death a bit there. Oh! Oh! Damn it. I wonder if it would be any better if you actually didn't talk while you're trying to play the race at the same time. I can't remember, again, I can't remember how far I actually got with this. Ah, I was hoping I'd save that. Yeah. I think 1.49 is going to be my best time. <laughs> oh, what a shame. What a shame. I can't remember how far I played this back in the day. There's a big left hander coming up. If I can get that right. Oh, there's a right hander there and a left hander. That's that big one there. Yeah, we're going to be outside the time here. One forty-two. Yeah, we'll be way out. Ah, that's the slowest lap of all. There we go. One forty-nine, sixty-nine is my best time. Um, yeah, I didn't even. Yeah, the guys were sort of recording one thirty, one forty. I don't know where I am. I don't really want to know. That may be a non-qualified lap. Oh dear. Okay, well. You can't win them all, can you? You can't win them all. You can't win them all. <laughs> uh, yes, 14th. There we go. 14th. 
I can't see that there. I'll just put that one back on. There we go, 14th retro beer. I was quick, quicker than Hoy and Watts, um, but slower than Derek Warwick for some reason. Why was that? Anyway, that's going to play the game now, which we're not going to do. So, you think you can do better than that? I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can do much better than that. Right, we're going to have a go at Colin McRae's rally next, but I'm going to have a quick practice first. Right, so we are back in the gaming pantry. Now, um, yeah, you are allowed to have a, 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 you know, a quick familiarisation with the circuit. Uh, let, let's not be honest with you. Um, I mean, going in completely blind might be a little bit unfair, I don't know. But we've had a quick go. 254. Not bad, not bad. Now I've got the hang of it, I know what I'm doing. So it uh, should be okay. So, well, let's put you on the big screen. Get what I'm doing here. So this is this is where the setup screen. So you go for the championship option. Uh, it's already picked your car for you, and it's an automatic. So we go straight to continue. We've already got the old name in there. So we'll bung that through, and it'll load in the first uh, uh, track, which is uh, New Zealand. It will tell you welcome to New Zealand shortly. Um, and yeah, and to be fair, uh, when Steve did his video, he said it was a little bit slidey like a bar of soap. It is a bit, that's because it's rallying. Rallying I'm not a big fan of. Um, there's quite a lot of sort of 90 degree angle turns you can see. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, it's quite, it's quite a few of them. You also get the co-driver talking to you as well, which is quite fun. So you're never quite sure, you know, what he's going to say, but you also get like the, it's like Sega Rally, it'll tell you, there you go, little arrow, send you where it is, and... Right. But remember, it, ha it handles like a rally car, not a racing car. If you look at the top left-hand corner, that tells you how well you're doing in terms of the other drivers on the stage. Don't think it has a huge um, benefit on what we're doing. Oh, come on. Now, that didn't happen during my practice lap. Right, let's try not talk and let's just play the game. So we drop down to sixth now. to fifth. Get off that bank. Back to still fifth. Trees. Whoops. Tree. Down to sixth. The ending to this track is a really, really strange finish. You have to keep your eye on it because uh, it's very difficult, very easy to go the wrong way, like I did. Two fifty seventy four, which is a little quicker than I went the first time. I did two fifty four the first time, uh, so yeah, that's good. I quite enjoyed that. 
It's a good little run, that one. And we're just behind Richard, just behind Richard Burns and Colin McRae. Um, but, yeah. So there you go. A couple of quick... A uh, couple of quick... Press the button. A couple of quick play more in 24s for you there. Uh, so that was Toka, 149-ish. Um, and Colin McRae's Rally 250. So, yeah, I've had a go. I can throw my hat in the ring and say, there you go. I am terrible at these games, as most people expect me to be. Uh, and uh, I do hope that you'll take part. Like I said, I'll stick a link to Steve's channel below. Uh, stick a link to anybody else I can find who's done a lap or previous laps or whatever. Um, and, you know, if you just want to have a go, just upload your video. Link Steve in there so he knows you've had a chat, uh, had a crack at it. And um, wish you all the very best. But until then, and until the next episode of Play More in 24 or my inane ramblings from the Gaming Pantry, this is the Retro Bear saying toodaloo for now and drive safely. <laughs>